I'm going to go ahead and just take a buy. One minute before bond open. That was actually not really unexpected, but it came off the open. So, so we're up about one and a half to one right now. Okay, so we're at two to one. Yeah, we got to be careful with this. It ran that rejection block um, that we were talking about right here. It's so like I was saying, if that order block fails, that would be our target. So I don't mind at least taking a, a, it's essentially two to one. I'd like to see it get to three and then we could at least take 20% off. Got that three to one. I'm gonna just take twenty percent off. I'm gonna stop by half. Did everyone catch this? I I got it late, but uh, I got some of it. Nice. Yeah, I got some of it too. There we go. Really, I'm gonna set my TP at a. And then we'll just take the profit on it. So if they go to 10 to 1, we'll have to get out. But I'm also going to take just another small percentage off. We're above 3 to 1. And then I'll let the rest run. What's in there? Close at 1%. Got a 100 point one runner. Nice. Cool. Yeah, we got runners going. We're up 3 to 1. I'm going to move that stop again, even closer. Yeah, so I would at least take a partial right here at this three to one, uh, just in case. We are up at yesterday's rejection block, um, and we have failed to clear that so far. So um, I think as soon as we clear this level, we should get some more bullishness. But if we can't clear this level, we start reaching back toward that stop, there's a good chance we could. Nice, so we're reaching further. Hey Tyler, so I missed the entry. Can you walk me through, or like really walk us through your um, thought process by entering this trade? Yeah, sure. So originally I was short on this trade. Um, earlier in the session. So we could see, like if we're just looking at US 30, say we're looking at it from an hourly perspective, we could see that there's liquidity down here. There's a four hour fair value gap. Yesterday we anchored into this one hour order block. And so I was thinking, you know, there could be some potential. And we talked about this rejection block here. That's just the bodies, right? Looking at it like a zone. So the highest bodies were right here. Now to trigger this order block, we'd have to get all the way down here. So I was looking at this order block here, looking to go short on it. Now you can see it trades down toward the low of the day, but doesn't quite make it. Now, this is a little more advanced, but that right there was a pretty nice grab at that order block. You can see there's an order block that forms and then a fair value gap. That's how you know that this is gonna be a pretty strong one. And so right here, 50% of this candle it grabbed it. So I was in the short and it was running to that. Now at the open, we started running through not only my uh, 15 minute order block right here, a 30 minute order block that I had, but we also had um, just made a, a pretty good potential buy right here. And we came back to the open of the day, right? There was the open. So with all those things happening, I was like, okay, this might be a pretty good opportunity to get in. Now, I didn't really have a great entry pattern. I saw that there was a breaker down here. I saw the order block, but I really just pulled it right here uh, before, before it got too late. And let me go back to this one here. And so then I just put my stop um, a couple points below it. So like I was looking down here, you can see it's probably about 35 points. That's my typical. I don't want to go much further than that. Yeah, about 34 and a half, 35 points. 
Um, and I was just trying to get as far back as here as possible, right? Because if, if they're going to stop me out, I at least want it to be difficult for them. So if they gave this huge printed bullish candle, they're going to have to come all the way back to the bottom of this bullish candle if they want to stop me out. And you can see they came back. This is just the open on the day right here. They take out the open, they sweep it, grab liquidity, order block. And so that was kind of my thought process behind it all. All right, thank you for that. Yeah, man, no problem. Also right here, that's a 20 day high. So there's a lot of liquidity up there. We've been pretty bullish lately. Um, so it makes sense to want to see it run through there. Tyler, what's your target? Um, so really my target would be like right here. Like, let me get that price for you. Well, my first target was this three to one. So about 35 to we'll call it. Now, after that, I think they need to run above this high of the day right here. Okay, they have. They need to run above this high of the day without a rejection. So if they come back here to two to one or one to one, I think that this trade is not done, but it, it's not gonna give uh, the movement that I think we're hoping to get out of it. Um, but if we can give a nice push off of this, I'm, I'm looking up here more toward that seven to one and call it 350. And then after that, then I'm just, uh, I would get out completely at a 10 to one if they hit it. And that would be at 450. So 200, I, I don't want to see it dip much further down, or I think that we're going to stop out, which is fine because we've gotten a four to one out of it and cleared the previous daily high. Um, speaking of, I'm going to just take one more little partial up here at one to four. Now, I'm going to move to break even because if it comes back down here, I'm just going to let it go. But now we don't want to see a rejection here. Like I said, I want to see it move up to that 350 level. And if we get there, I'll go ahead and hold, trying to get to 450. But if, if we really start struggling in here, I think that we'll, we'll come back. Euro and G, GU ended up being uh, pretty slow. That gold is looking active, though. 